well. This is just a really quick video to show you my new USB microscope. Now, listen, my expectations were not high. Uh, matter of fact, they were actually pretty low because when you spend about $25, including shipping on a product, uh, you're not going to get, you know, anywhere near top of the line. And trust me, this is not anything near top of the line. Here's, here's the packaging. Plastic bag and uh, a mini, mini CD. And then of course, uh, this was wrapped, uh, this was wrapped in uh, plastic. But it is what it is. It's supposed to be a 50 to 500. Although I take it to about the middle, maybe 200, and that's as close as I can get anything to focus in on it. But I think it has some value. I think that it will help in our uh, my videos, you know, because I'll be using it to show the blade. And at the very end, you'll see a little a little uh, clip if you want to watch. It's got a zoom button right here. And all that is for is for magnifying the pixels one to five times. On the other side, it's got a little snapshot. And I'll show you a picture at the very end of the little snapshot that it took. Uh, it's got a dial here uh, for setting the LED brightness. So if you can see that. Dial it all the way up, then kind of dial it down. But that, in a nutshell, is the product. Shipped out of Taiwan. Cheap, cheap as can be. It doesn't stay where it's supposed to stay in here, so it's always moving. Very, very cheap. Comes with a little lens cover for protecting it. Obviously you take it off when you shoot the video, but that's supposedly for protecting the lens. So USB microscope. I bought this one because I didn't want to buy an expensive one until I saw what I thought of this one. It did come with a little calibration tool. You'll see that in the video. Yeah, up top is inches. There's the, there's the calibration tool. Up top is inches, sixteenths, and at the bottom is uh, millimeters. So I show you the millimeters on the on screen. But this is what it is, and uh, I think it'll be a helpful tool in terms of showing you uh, close-ups of the edge, uh, showing you the burr, showing you the polish, and showing you the scratch pattern. So. Watch a couple minutes of the video at the end and you'll see how this thing performs. Like I said, I just got it today, so I'm a long ways from getting used to this and figuring out all the little details. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching my video and God bless. Okay guys, this is just a little test footage from the USB microscope and what you're looking at here is the, the little measurement tool that they give you with the USB microscope and it's supposedly supposed to help you calibrate it. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but what you're looking at here is millimeters. So what you saw on the screen there was about three millimeters. You know, we talk about the scratch pattern on um, steel and I keep talking about, you know, you're refining that scratch pattern. So what the USB microscope is gonna do is it's it's not, you know, an expensive piece of equipment but right there you're looking at the scratch pattern right there you can see all that rough when they talk about toothy edge that means you've left a lot of that scratch pattern on there and you have almost like a a saw sawing effect what the USB microscope is showing though is what a great job that CBN emulsion did in terms of polishing that edge and basically my goal for the buying this cheap little um, USB microscope is just to just to give you an idea of what the edge is looking at right here I'm zooming in and all the zoom does is magnify the pixels and so you know if you zoom in then you kind of have to reset the focus and you know I didn't like it but we're set at about uh, 
probably about 150 to 200 magnification. The USB microscope has a 200. I mean, it supposedly goes up to 500, but I haven't been able to get it to focus in on, on 500 yet. So anyways, we're at about 200. And right there is one of those big chips that I was talking about that um, over time, over several sharpenings, I'll take those all out. I mean, I could take them all out at once, but I just don't want to take the time to remove those, those deep chips. But uh, I wasn't really happy with the zoom, so I went back out. I'm still learning to use it. Today's my first day. It came in the mail, like I showed you in the video, cheap little plastic packaging. Here's the tip, and you can see the scratch pattern on the very end, meaning I didn't uh, get all the way to the very end of that tip, so the tip of that knife still needs some work, and that was a really good thing that the USB microscope uh, showed me. And there's another one of the chips. The problem with the bright LED lights is they kind of wash the video out. It's kind of like a lens flare, and so um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. But um, with a little little work, we'll get we'll get something out here. But anyways, I'm just running down the edge here. I'm trying to find the the sweet point or the sweet spot for uh, using the microscope and getting both the blade and the edge in there. And one thing is you got to go a whole lot slower than I'm going right now uh, to get a a decent uh, video. But uh, um, I wanted you to see scratch pattern. I wanted you to see the chips. I wanted you to get a close-up of the metal and I wanted you to see the, the polish that the CBN emulsion did. But you can see uh, it's a lot of chips in this kitchen knife. But the polish is beautiful. It did a really good job. But there's a, there's a big chip right there. You can see that. Uh, and there's another chip. In fact, that's two chips right there that you're looking at. Yeah.